Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make silky smooth and stable Swiss Marine buttercream. To start off, you will need 310 grams of butter, which is soft yet cold at the same time. You will also need 6 eggs. To make the marine, I'm going to separate the egg whites from the egg yolks. As you can see, I'm separating the whites from the yolks. You'll have to make sure the egg yolks isn't mixed with the whites because the egg yolk ruins the buttercream and the stiffness of the buttercream will not be present. Then, you have to add in 300 grams of caster sugar. With the help of the double boiler method, I'm going to place the pan on top of the double boiler. And with the help of a hand blender, I'm going to whip it nicely. Make sure you keep whipping because if you don't keep whipping, it will cause lumps if the egg whites aren't getting cooked. Keep whipping until there's no sugar particles visible and the meringue has become a little stiff. Then, transfer the meringue into another bowl and then whip it for about 7 to 10 minutes until it comes down to the room temperature but is still stiff enough. You shouldn't add the butter when the meringue is hot because it will melt the butter and you won't get the perfect buttercream. Here, I'll add in the butter in 3 parts. Make sure the butter is soft and cold. After adding each cube of butter, give it a good whip for about 1-2 to two minutes. And now, I'll add in the last cube of butter and whip it well. After this process, I whip the butter cream up for about 5-10 to 10 minutes. After whipping it for about 5-10 to 10 minutes, it starts to curdle up. Don't worry, this means that you're getting the perfect buttercream. As you can see, it's all curdled up. But I'm gonna keep whipping it up continuously. Once you get the thick buttercream, give it another whip for 2 minutes. And then, it's done. You can later add in 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract and whip it again. You can add in any essence you want. You can also add in any fillings or flavours you require in your buttercream. With the help of a spatula, I'm going to brush around to remove all the air bubbles. As you can see, the buttercream looks all fluffy and light and it tastes really good. Please do try and leave a comment on how it tastes. Thank you.